Okay, so here's the finished power supply. Now, I just showed you the video. I just uploaded a couple of days ago. Or no, that was just last night, I think. Eh, I don't know, whatever. Um, of the me working on the oil switch right here. Uh, well, this has actually been done for about a month. The computer, hard drive needed upgrading, um, and then it just took me forever to get uh, to uploading my other videos. And then this is a five-minute video, so that was the one last one I did. Um, but so this has been done for quite a while now. Uh, works great. Made this wooden um, case for it, made out of let's see, this is a one-inch by half-inch piece of wood. These two, the sides. This is. Uh, about four and a, four inches by quarter inch, um, and so I wasn't able to put screws on these, uh, so I had to glue these together. And then I came up with this idea because I knew glue, uh, wood glue, wouldn't be strong enough. Really, I didn't think, and I wanted to have it be able to handle a little bit, a little bit of abuse. So I put some angle on pieces right here, and then I put these really nice heavy-duty hinges up here. Um, I realized though that they're a little bit too low. They're in the center. They should be up there, um, but that's just a mistake there. Um, and then up on the top, I have a piece of sheet metal. So um, I kind of messed up. The transformer really should be over here at the end, but it isn't. Um, so when I'm playing with high voltage and there's a piece of hot metal uh, that drops down to there, it won't drop down and melt the uh, oil switch, which I already did, uh, melt the lid, so I had to glue that. Um, and you can see there's this little piece of aluminum right there. It's on there and it's not coming off. Um, and put some nice screws in there and everything. <coughs> uh, let's see. Oops. Rotate this around here, and then this is the 120 uh, power cord. Uh, for the transformer, uh, runs on only on 60 volts, and this is the power cord that powers the solenoid switch. Okay, in here is the switch terminals. Um, I got the 120 coming in there, and the high voltage in here. This yellow, I think, is uh, the main one or the discharge. I don't know. And then that's the main main or discharge. And then this is the uh, um, that's the connection one actually. Uh, that makes a connection to the transformer terminals. Um, I thought I had bought an oil tight container, but apparently it's not oil tight um, or sealed container, but it's not really very, uh, doesn't fit together too well, so it leaks a little bit if it's tipped. So I gotta keep it um, level. Um, the oil is turning a grayish color from the electricity and stuff, so I might have to change that once in a while. Um, got the connections for the fan and the mo uh, bot. Um, and there's the fan there, capacitor. Uh, I previously had put four wires there. I realized uh, one wire also going to there, but I realized that that made it so this um, terminal wouldn't work at all. Um, so I fixed that. There's only three wires there. Put a heat sink. Um, right here, and the terminals, as you can see, sanded the wood down really nice with the big hinges, as I said. Um, oh yes, I took, uh, when I first built this, I drilled holes at the end of the caps, um, so I could mount it to also something. And then got bolts bolted to the angle aluminum, and the angle aluminum is screwed down to the base. Tub is only, uh, glued down, so it's not on there very well. A little accident. Uh, that's basically it. So let's take it for a test run. Got a couple things to show you with it. Okay, first test part. We're just going to make some normal arcs. Um, as I said, this in the previous video, this is going to be a little discharge arc in the oil switch, which will be right about there. So let me turn off the light and let's get started. I'm arcing off a steel file so the arcs will be whitish orange, running off at 60 volts.
Okay, the next test here is about a two and a half foot Jacob's ladder. I am using aluminum welding rods, so they will give off uh, somewhat of a blue colored arc.